Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday to you guys. This is the market outlook video for this week on foot. Should be a full week of content. Again, we are deep into the heart of foot miss. Uh, a promo that definitely hasn't been the most uh, spectacular promo as of yet. The SBCs they've been putting out have been bang average most days uh, just because of the price points, right? The players and the upgrades... Well, some of the upgrades aren't even that good as well. Douglas Costa today with like just a very kind of poor upgrade. Fakir, kind of an eh upgrade as well. I mean, I like the position with center attack and mid. Like this is a good card. I would I would think about doing this card if it wasn't uh, the 200,000 coin price kind of cap that it is. Somewhere around the 200,000 coin range for this card. 87 overall squad. If you would tell me this, this was like 85 rated squad with an inform, then I would totally do it probably. I mean, because that would knock the price down a lot. Um, and it would be probably a little bit more worth it, but, uh, that's going to factor into what we talk about this week for foot miss content. So what do we have to look forward to this week on the game? Of course, foot miss, we're getting two SBCs every day and we have four more objective players that we will be getting in the next until the 24th of December, four more objective players that we're going to be getting as well. So one, every couple days, it seems to be what we're getting, right? So six objective players total. So every two days, we'll probably get one. So uh, today, Monday, probably not an objective player after we got Tiago Mendez today. So we have Mendez and uh, Bauman both in here for objectives at the moment. So uh, we do have two options there. Probably Tuesday, we'll get another one of these. It'd be interesting to see who they put in. So far, two CDMs, right? Two CDMs with decent cards. I would have liked maybe a little bit of a increased stat boost on Tiago Mendez, but it is what it is. I do think a lot of people are interested in this card, though. I've seen him once in a week in league already today, so I think people are grinding that one out, but just kind of, it, it requires some rivals, man, which I don't play a lot of rivals, so it is what it is. But first of all, I want to look at the SBCs that we could be getting this week. I won't spend a ton of time on this, but I always like to cover what could be coming at least today on Monday and then look ahead a little bit as well. Boys, I don't even, have we had a single player that's been a Premier League player in these SBCs yet? I don't think that we have. Now today on Monday, the count up on the nationalities, men's international team ranking, number four, we're on day four of Footmas, and the number four ranked team in the world is England. So we will be getting an English SBC today, somebody from the English national team or an English player will be in SBC today on Monday. And we will also be getting an SBC from one of these five teams here, Leicester, Sociedad, Hoffenheim, uh, Nimes, Olympic, whatever that is. And then uh, Sampdoria, which right now there are leaks going around the community at this moment that are saying that we are getting a foot miss Rashford tomorrow. So that'll be two years in a row for a Marcus Rashford SBC if that does come true. Um, that would mean another Rashford SBC is coming. Last year we got Rashford. Um, and this year, the way they're pricing, there are a lot of people making jokes today that this SBC would be like 700K, right? Which would be really grossly overpriced, which he doesn't have any special cards. So uh, all right now we have to base his price off of is, is his gold card, which... I mean, if you give this guy a, a pretty sizable boost, he only has the three-star weak foot, but he's got five-star skills. He is England, he's English, and he's Manchester United. So you give this guy a sizable boost, a lot of people are going to want to do him. So again, the boost and the pricing is what's the most important for these cards. And if we get a good SBC tomorrow that a lot of people want to do, it could be interesting, right? So Rashford is in the hype tomorrow. I do think you're, you know, I don't, I don't want to trust the leaks because... Uh, we always get foot miss leaks, man. We really, we always get foot miss leaks and the first two weren't really leaked, but then today was with the Costa and with the Fakir, it was known hours before that we were going to be getting those. So that's where people are also getting the, the, um, Rashford and this Murillo card is also supposed to be getting an SBC. And here's kind of my question, man. We keep getting all these Siri A SBCs, man. Mal K, Today, Douglas Costa, those are two Serie A SBC that we got in back-to-back -back days. Two out of the first three days of Footmas, we have Serie A players. Can we get some other guys in there? I know we got Vitzel and we got Luca Bacchio. And um, I think we got like a first day, we got Moses Simon, who is League Un, right? Uh, I think I incorrectly said that he was in La Liga in my my video a couple days ago. Um, but we're, we had Batiste today with Fakir. Can we get some more La Liga and Prem SBCs, please, EA? A lot of people in this in this game use Prem and La Liga SBCs. So um, again, we're gonna find out later on this week if the links are actually if the leaks are actually true. I don't want to really focus on that, but it is a big talking point. This is the other SBC that we could be getting today. 
If they juice this card, man, it could be a nice card. Medium high work rates. Can you imagine like plus four, plus five, plus sixes on this card's uh, stats? If they give him like plus five pace, get him to 80 pace and like mid 80s defending and mid 80s physical, like this could be a sick card, right? Not that a lot of people would easily be able to link it in teams, but I think you'd see people go out and do the SBC if it was 40 or 50K for a card like that. So that's an opportunity for EA to maybe suck a few coins off the market because nobody is doing these current SBCs the way that they've been coming out. Uh, Douglas Costa with a very minimal upgrade again, I mentioned for like nothing, uh, no upgrade and you're, you're spending like 200K on that. And this is also like 200K, I think. So these are maybe like 160 and 200. I, I don't even know their prices to be exact. Douglas Coast is 130 and Fakir is 190. Those are the exact prices according to Footbin. So again, just kind of another meh day on the market. One thing that we did not get today though was a pack supply SBC. These are still the two pack supply SBCs that we have gotten that I have not done yet. Uh, they're out for a couple more days. I do think we'll get another pack supply SBC on Monday, okay? And that was one reason why um, you might see some of these cards that people are talking about flipping. Uh, these team of the year nominees, they are very risky to flip. They are possible to flip because they fluctuate a lot, but it's risky, right? Because these cards are in packs and they have a huge, huge drop rate. And that's going to be something that's going to keep this market in control. I think this week, and this is another smart move by EA man, 12% pack weight inside of a hundred thousand coin pack. They've been refreshing these packs in the store every six hours. So there are, they are putting packs in the store that people can open. Uh, but they did not run lightning rounds, so that is kind of interesting. Although I do know some people are opening packs um, while these cards are in packs. But uh, some, of those, some of these cards are very flippable right now and very tradable, especially with chem style flipping. Uh, Firmino is one that I've had really good success with. Chemistry style flipping. Around 110,000 coins, you can get a sale with a Hunter chem style on his card. And uh, I've gotten multiple of them for around like 90,000 coins where his card actually sells at. And you can get sales around 110,000 coins with the Hunter chem style. So that's something to look out for. That There's another one with the Hunter. Um, chem chemistry style trading with these new cards is really cool because yes, they are only plus one upgrades, but people want these cards in their teams because they are cool because they have the, the dynamic images. It's only a plus one, but some of these guys don't have any other special cards that are... Um, you know, like in this game that are usable, that are at a decent price, right? For Roberto Firmino, you either have his gold card, his UCL card, which are the same rating. You now have this card, which is 90K. And then you have his scream card, which is like 900,000 K, right? So 900,000 coins for the scream card versus 90K for this. A lot of people are using these cards, man. Allison is also one of the most popular. I mentioned this in my video yesterday, I think. This is one of the most popular cards out there too, man, because Alice doesn't have any special cards. I've heard from people that this goalkeeper card is very OP. And, uh, you know, it's a link to VVD. He's Brazilian. It's got a cool dynamic image and he's Liverpool, right? So I think a lot of people are starting to use these, these cards and put them in their teams. Again, I would be very, very careful with them this week though, because their pack weight is insane. Yes, people want to use them. They're good to trade with on fluctuations. Um, but you really have to be careful with pack supply. Um, a lot of times these guys get low during the middle of the day, especially early on when they've been pretty rare. Um, they haven't been packed a ton yet because we haven't had lightning rounds. That's something to remember with these cards. We haven't actually had lightning rounds yet. So that keeps their value kind of low. If we see a lot of pack supply SBCs this week, that would deter me from like wanting to maybe invest in these cards out of packs or trade with them even more because they're gonna have less supply from not having lightning rounds. But it's something to remember that when we do get pack supply this week, these cards will be getting packed a decent amount. So just be careful for that. 1 p.m. each day. Usually it's kind of the lowest for the market. The way that the market has been working recently in, in recent days is that the market actually gets the lowest around the middle of the daytime. And uh, Saturday specifically, we saw a huge opportunity to buy these cards into Sunday morning. Uh, even I did this Friday night into Saturday, the first night they were in packs. I bought Sterling's for 147 and 149, sold them for 180, right? The fluctuation wasn't as big from uh, Saturday into Sunday, but um, I'm hoping for another small fluctuation from Sunday into Monday even um, with squad battle rewards. After that, these prices did take a little bit of a hit on some cards. So I'm looking to maybe take advantage of that on some of the more usable cards and especially on a guy like Sterling, right? If Rashford comes out tomorrow, um, who are you going to link Rashford to as a right wing position? Well, Sterling is your guy, to be honest. Sterling really is your guy. So 
I would, I'm watching this card pretty closely. If I see him around 120,000 coins again, I will be definitely interested in picking him up. I think as a possible link investment. Now, I'm not I'm not one person who really likes to invest in leaks, um, but maybe this will be a buy that if I do see Rashford come out right away at 6 p.m. UK, I do go and check that out. So again, that's a look at the kind of the, the market with those cards and how I feel about them. I do think we're going to get pack supply SBCs. Um, one other mention about that is this week's team of the week um, is going to be a decently rare team of the week, in my opinion. Yes, we have had pack supply SBCs, but this Wabi Saka card is like 49,000 coins, right? 48K. If you can get this guy for like mid to low 40s on bid, um, on Xbox, he's still kind of like 50,000. I would wait for him to drop down to 50K on Xbox with like a couple pack supply SBCs. I think he could get there. But this card is, again, a very good budget right back in the Premier League. He is um, English, of course, and he's on Manchester United. So that gives it some added card. And just for a little bit of context, I think Ricardo Pereira's card is around this price how much is ricardo Pereira? yeah so he's a similar price he's got less pace they're, they're really identical cards and um our boy wambisaka gets way better links you know what with a shadow hold up boys uh whenever i see a shadow on the cheapest card in the market i get curious is this the cheapest card with a shadow 48k and 46k and the next cheapest is interesting where's the next cheapest after that 54k interesting very interesting i might have to look at that a little bit uh i'm not gonna look at it at the moment though because it doesn't look like there's much money in it unless i could sell them both and sell them for 50 but i don't know how many people are going to use that card his price has gone down a lot after the wambi saka has come out but i do think that there are some cards in this week's team of the week that could rise out of packs it's something to look forward to if we get a pack supply sbc today on monday or tuesday is maybe getting in on some of those other events that we could have earlier on in the week this week We've already seen some panic selling because of this, but a popular striker in the Bundesliga is set to win player of the month. His name is Timo Werner. His inform is taking a dive right now because it's, um, people are selling this inform because anticipation of his, uh, player of the month card coming out. He's gotten player of the month cards before he would probably go to an 87 POTM. He's going to win. Like he's going to win the fan vote and he had an insane month. So I do expect to get an SBC card of Player of the Month, Timo Werner, this week. Um, I think that Serge Nabry expires on Wednesday. Is that correct? Nabry expires on the Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. So yes, Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK, Nabry will be expiring, it looks like. Or not even 6 p.m. UK. One day, 12 hours. So even earlier than that. So Nabry's going to expire on Tuesday, it looks like. And um, then we will be either Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't get my math right. But then I think we'll be seeing Player of the Month Werner. If you guys want to invest for some of that, again, if we look at some of the... Uh, we'll have a specific video on that probably early in the week this week talking about some of that stuff. But of course, you're looking for Bundesliga. You're looking for maybe some German informs uh, and then some higher rated, you know, just German guys. And like Thomas Muller might be a decent one or, um, you know... Julian Brandt, even some guys that just link to those cards could be good. Some some good link investments to some of those guys for a, a possible team over in player of the month. And then, of course, after we have all the footmas stuff um, that's going to be continuing going on through the end of the week on Friday, it's another big day because these team of the year nominees go out of packs. But prime icons and icon swaps, too, should be starting as you can tell if you look at the top right right by my face cam right over here season two it says um four days and 12 hours that is gonna be friday at 6 p.m uk ish friday at 6 p.m uk ish is when that uh will be these icon swaps will be resetting and we will get icon swaps set too now there's gonna be some talk about that later this week people are asking what about icons what's gonna happen with those icons are at an all-time low right now especially some of the higher tier ones I think that some people are selling off these mids just because the market is so low and because I think they're scared of the prime prices honestly this mid hole it's 5.2 he was over six mil uh, baby Eusebio. Some of the babies and some of the middles uh, are being panic sold a ton. Cruyff is another one. I think of Carlos Alberto. Now, a lot of people want to know, are these cards going to rise out of packs? I mean, I'm going to do a little bit more research this week and see what we see with more icon prices later on in this week. 
I don't think that these guys are going to rise out of packs that much, except for a select few. This guy might be a select few, um, but the market is just so low from you know all the panic in the past two weeks with team of the group stage and this new week of foot miss and these uh, team of the year nominee cards. So if there are some icons that you think are super duper low, I think some of the mids, this is my, this is my early initial thoughts, right? I do think some of the mids, especially like a guy like Hullet, who is one of the most in demand um, icons in this game. I think a guy like this could rebound uh, five, one for Hullet. I'm going to add this and see if it gets a bid and sells, but I think this is the type of card that could rebound because let's be honest, boys, you have people talking about the prime icon pack weight and is our prime icons pack weight going to, you know, be, are they going to come onto the market and kind of, you know, push down the prices of the mids? I think no. I mean, honestly, if you see this middle hole at five mil right now, he's already dropped a million coins. If you think about how rare it is for somebody to pack a prime hullet. I would be surprised if we see more than two prime hullets within the first day, even with lightning rounds. Now, unless EA wants to do some stupid out of mind thing and makes prime icons like their pack weight, like kind of legit and like you can actually pack them and we start seeing a pop up on the market, uh, that might cause some problems in this game, but I cannot see them doing that because these are icons, man. Icons have never been easy to pack. It's like that with team of the years as well. People ask me, are team of the years going to have insane pack weight like these other promotions have been with the nominee cards and stuff like that? And to that, I say no. Like there's no possible way in my mind that they're going to make those cards cheap, right? I think prime icons are going to be stupid expensive right away to start things out because that's how EA makes money, right? The, the cards are stupid expensive right away. People buy them with at the inflated price. You might see people buying prime hullet at like eight, nine million coins, right? It's going to be the prices that some of the moments would have been would have been last year. Even though the market is this low, people know it's coming. And I think they're not prepared for it, but I think they're they're expecting it, right? And that's why I think you're going to see a buyback on some of the middle tier icons because uh, just people are going to realize, yo, there's like one or two hullet on the market. I'm not going to pay nine or 10 mil for the prime hullet when I can just go buy the middle one for five, right? So I do think you're going to see some of the mid icons, the really OP ones, maybe Vieira, maybe Eusebio, even Baby Card, um, maybe Carlos Alberto. But again, I mentioned Vieira, Hullet, um, maybe like a Zambrata. You know, there's some position change stuff going on there as well. But the really, really meta ones, I don't think they're going to stay this low. Now, some of the babies uh, and some of those guys that are just kind of like, you know, eh, icons in there, like um, like a baby Barnes or a um, like a middle Lineker. Some of these guys, I just think uh, there's just not as much hype for them anymore because, yes, they're icons, but a lot of these guys have fallen so much. Like, I don't know, if, do people really want to use Lineker at the moment? Prime Lineker is going to come out, but... You know, that was a good card last year. I, I don't know. I don't think that's going to affect a lot of the really low tier icon stuff. And, you know, the baby icons, like discard icons, we call them discard. They're not actually actually discard. But it's crazy how low these are getting right now. I mean, 120,000 coins, I think, is what I saw for the discard icons, which are like the cheapest icons on the market. I want to check this because this is insane. And again, uh, it is insane because these cards are not going to be in SBCs this year. 119,000 coins for Baby and Zagi on the market right now. Baby and Zagi for 119,000 coins. Never going to be needed for an SBC this year. And that's why some of these prices are nuts. But again, that's another way that EA can crash the market. And Zagi was probably like 250k earlier this year, right? Or maybe 200k. And now he's 119. So interesting stuff with those prime icons we'll talk a little bit more about that and maybe get ourselves like an icon swap set to prediction later on in the week this week as well um but that's what i see for the week man every single day this week again when you see a new sbc come in to the sbc section look at the card that comes out look at the upgrade and look at the cost Compare the card to its other highest overall version, see what kind of upgrades it gets, and compare the cost of that SBC, and think about if this card had an inform, how much would it be on the market? If this 87 Fakir card had an inform or had a special card on the market, I do not think it'd be 191,000 coins. I really don't. And I know you you have to value the SBC maybe a little bit higher than what the card would be on the market because um, then you wouldn't take as many coins off the market if you're sitting in EA shoes and thinking about that. But why'd you make Witzel 50K? I think Witzel on the market would probably be somewhere around like 40 to 50K. That SBC was valued very well for what the card was. So 
again, that's a good way to kind of judge the price of a card. And you know, maybe maybe you think Fakir on the market would be somewhere around like me 60 or 70k, maybe even like 50k. Um, but if the SPC was 100k, I bet you there'd be a lot more people doing this because it's footmas, man. It is footmas, and we just it's footmas is it's Christmas is about like what gifts, you know, and being nice and friendliness. And a lot of these SBCs have really not been in the spirit of, of Christmas at, at this time yet. So hopefully as we near the actual date of Christmas, they turn things around and get their heads out of their butts. But we'll see what happens, boys, all right? Um, we will see what happens with that kind of stuff. Of course, Player of the Month this week again, Prime Icons coming into packs on Friday the 20th, I do believe. Um, other than that, some player, or some, uh, again, Player of the Month, but also these Team of the Year nominee cards in packs this week. Um, probably going to be still good for fluctuations. A lot of people like these cards. Um, and yeah, I'm really interested to see what happens this week with the footmas content. That's like the main content that we should be getting this week. Road to the final cards. I want to make a quick mention about a lot of these cards are rare, right? And some of these guys fluctuate a ton. I'm thinking about Alan, especially these guys seriously do fluctuate a decent amount. Alan's right now is down to 378, 379. That's kind of low for him, man. That's kind of low for Allen. He was over 400K because of the Malqui SBC yesterday. Militao fluctuates a ton. So if you honestly want to trade with some of these guys, like chem style trade or just trade with these road to the finals, these guys are going to fall off the back burner a little bit unless they're like a direct link investment to an SBC that comes out. And if you do a link investment to any of the Footmas SBCs that come out, again, if it's a good value SBC that people are going to do, link investments will go up because people will do it and put it in their team. These cards will be great if there's if they link to any of the Footmas SBCs because they are rare, right? Scream cards and these are going to be great for linking investments during the Footmas promo. So keep your eyes out for link and uh, complementary link investments and supplementary investments. Speaking of supplementary, James Rodriguez today is down like 40k thanks to the SBC brought to you by Fakir, right? I think he might have been even lower than 250 or 240 earlier today, but he's 250 right now. Fakir came out as like 200,000 coins, 190k, and he's a center attack in mid like this Hamas card is, and it dropped Hamas today, so that was an interesting thing to look out for, but if you got a Hamas at a cheap price today in the panic, it probably will rebound, right, because scream cards are super rare, so again, just something to keep in mind as these Footmas SBCs do come out. Value and the upgrade is what you really need to be worried and focused on when the new SBCs do come out. Thank you guys for watching this video today, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, Smack a thumbs up on it, comment let down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.